Home charging is by far the best, least expensive, and most convenient way to charge your electric vehicle. But if you do not set up your home charging system correctly, even if you think you are doing it right, you can be putting yourself and your family in danger. Welcome back to eHermes, your electric adventure travel channel. Please remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that bell button to be notified of our upcoming content. This owner installed a NEMA 1450 outlet in his garage to charge his EV. He thought he did everything right. He made sure that the outlet was UL rated. Even though it is an outlet, he did not regularly plug and unplug the charger. It was pretty much left plugged in at all times. He used a very reputable Clipper Creek charger that only draws 32 amps. Finally, he was not charging an F-150 Lightning, Hummer, or other monster-sized battery. He was usually charging his Chrysler Pacifica plug-in hybrid minivan with its tiny 16 kilowatt hour battery, although at the time of this final meltdown, literally, he was charging a 72 kilowatt hour Tesla Model Y. So what went wrong? Two things likely contributed to this failure. First, even though it was a short run and the device is rated for aluminum or copper wire, the thermal expansion aluminum experiences can oftentimes cause the terminal screws to come loose in the outlet over time. Although this was not installed that long ago, so I do not believe that this is the main factor in the failure. Also, if you do use aluminum, you oftentimes need to increase the wire size, although again, I do not believe that was a factor here. I believe that the real culprit here is the outlet itself and the underwriter laboratory's testing and seal of approval, or at least most people's understanding of it. To me, and I suspect to most people, if there is an outlet that is rated at 50 amps, which then gets reduced down to a maximum of 40 amps actual draw per the National Electric Code, and then is only drawing 32 amps in reality, all should be good. Well, apparently there are two different types of NEMA 1450 outlets with the same UL stamp on them. Regular and heavy duty. Now, if something is rated for 50 amps and is drawing only 32 amps or even 40 amps, in my mind, it should be good for that load constantly, but apparently not. The best explanation I have been given is that a standard NEMA 1450 outlet, which is typically used for an electric range, is only used intermittently for relatively short periods, maybe an hour or two, of time, while an EV can draw for hours and hours on end. This distinction appears to be somewhat arbitrary, and Underwriters Laboratory does not seem to make a formal differentiation from what I have seen. From what I have been able to determine, the Leviton outlet, which is found at Home Depot or online for under $15 and was what this owner used, seems to be the light duty version. Everything I have been told says that the gold standard is the Hubble that goes for about $85 on Amazon. I am told that the Bryant 1450 is made by Hubble and it is about $20 cheaper but I'm going to go with the top of the line Hubble when I replace mine. One very important thing to look for is the width of the brass tabs inside the outlet itself. You can see that the Leviton tabs are only about half the length of the opening and they are just steel, not brass. But the Hubble are brass the full length so that the blade from the plug has contact its entire width to this tight brass receptacle. If you don't plan to move and never take your charger with you, the best option might be to hardwire your charger to your junction box. But if you want the convenience of a plug-in charger, make sure you use a high-quality outlet with full-length brass tabs. The Hubble Industrial Outlet seems to be the Cadillac of such devices. If you have a cheap store-bought outlet like this owner's Leviton, please replace it immediately. And don't let the UL stamp fool you into believing that the cheap outlet is good enough like he did. As I said, home charging is the most cost-effective and convenient way to charge an electric vehicle, but make sure your home charging system is set up properly with the proper size wire, preferably copper, and an industrial use NEMA 1450 outlet with full length brass tabs. If you have any doubts about this, please hire a licensed electrician. We hope you've enjoyed this video, learned something, and might even save your house from burning down. If you did, Please hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button to be notified of our upcoming content. Thank you!